I'm wanting to chat again today about maleness, about being a man, about being an alpha male versus an omega, about being a leader, about being competent, about being worthwhile and not useless. And this comes to mind because I have occasion through my vocation to meet a lot of different males and observe their competencies in various ways. And I'm frankly a little bit disappointed and frustrated with the low level of manhood capability that I see in many males, especially big city folks. And I completely recognize that people that grow up in the countryside have certain opportunities that people in the city don't. And people that grow up in the city have certain opportunities, certain skill sets that the country boy isn't going to know. I'm, I'm a small town guy, lived in Los Angeles for a while, but been out of there for 20 years. I, I wouldn't know if I went to New York City and had to catch a, a subway trip, flight, bus, whatever they call those things, I would have no clue how the turnstiles work and where the cards fit into the slots and that kind of thing. It'd be a learning experience. I get it. I get there are different skills that we, we gain depending on where we are uh, geographically and, and just kind of in our lives. But I've got to say I'm really frustrated and disappointed and scared for our future. I'm scared for my granddaughters. Gosh, who are they going to find? Who's a, where are the competent guys out there that can, can do a little bit of everything? that can, can survive and, and thrive regardless of their surroundings. I see a lot of soft-handed, shallow-chested men who have been doted on by their parents. They've been provided with activities between seven and five each day, whether it's school or soccer, and then they go to after-school this, and then they go to after-school organized activity that. And they're always having these imaginary authority figures telling them what to do and what schedule to be on and how to get things done. And, and gosh, Legos aren't even made to be creative anymore. They're, they're made with the details already in them. You're, you're just putting things together that somebody else has already decided how they're going to go. I'm sounding like an old fogey here, and, and perhaps I am. But I really think it's time for a lot of guys to take this seriously. It's time for guys to, to decide to become men. Women want you. They need some men. There are very few men left. And yes, you can go to rural ranching farming areas. You can go to the big cities and find the mechanics and the tow truck drivers and the people that have, have started up businesses. And, and, and maybe now they've, they've gotten a little soft but they still have that, that capability. They didn't always get to have a driver. They, they started out working hard, solving little problems, figuring out how things work. Oh, I'm rambling here, but please guys, if, if you don't know how to work a cordless drill, and if you don't know how to change a tire, and if you don't know how to tell the difference in smell, from motor oil and transmission fluid and uh, radiator fluid, uh, coolant, if you don't know how to smell the difference or what the color differences are in those, I'm not suggesting that we all have to go to mechanic school, and, and I'm very lacking in that area, but I know some basics, and I should know more, and so should you. Do you know how to siphon gas out of one car into an old milk jug? and then get that milk jug full of gas poured into another car. Do you know how to saddle a horse? Do you know which side to get on the horse? Do you know how to start a fire? Do you know how to put a fire out? Do you know how to change a simple electrical socket in a house, a little outlet there? Do you know how to change that? Do you know how to change a light bulb? I should hope so. Do, do you know the, how to hammer a nail? how to pound a nail into a board, you know what the, the grain differences are, which way should you put it in, how close to the edge can you go so that it won't split, what's the difference between a socket wrench and a monkey wrench and, and, a, and a vice grip, and what's WD-40, what's the WD stand for, um, 
there, there are a lot of things like this that I, I'm, I'm not expecting all of us to be handymen, and I'm not putting the value of a human being, of being a male human being, a real man, on knowing all the handyman skills. But I think they're kind of important, and you need to get serious about this. I, the, the, these good times, here, here's why I'm saying this. These good times we've been having, we've been so lucky for so long that we've gotten soft. And as we get softer, we lose all of these skills and we say, well, we don't need that. There's an app for that. Well, I don't need to know how to turn the lights on in my car. They just automatically come on when it gets dark out. I don't have to remember to put my seatbelt on because it'll beep at me. The car will beep and tell me I need to put my seatbelt on. And well, we have an electrician that does all of this and we have a plumber that does all of that and we have a mechanic that does this and that and we have those people over there out in the country that'll that'll shuck the weed or stack the hay and, and know what baling wire is and I don't need to know any of that because I live in a big city and I'm a few steps above that. I went to college and I learned from some guy who learned from some guy who learns from some other guy that's never really done it how I'm supposed to do the things in this fast-evolving world next month. No, you're wrong. You're not ready. You are not ready. If you know how to do basic things, like get your car unstuck when you're all alone, with nothing but a come along and a shovel and some old blankets, if you can figure out how to do that, even if you've never done it before, those are skills. It's not the exact knowledge of how to get that particular car out of that situation. It's your ability down deep to be a man and, and resolve problems and, and do it for other people, to be there for them, to be there to protect a woman. And there might be some feminists out there right now that are listening to me, and if that's you and you're offended that I'm saying that a man would protect a woman, buzz off. I really don't care. You're welcome to learn these skills. I encourage you to. Everybody should know these. I hope my daughter knows them. I hope my granddaughters do. But there's kind of sort of this thing that's been going on since we critters have been around. Men are the protectors in general. And again, you might be that one in a hundred and that one in ten. Maybe you want to be the protector. Great. Go for it. But don't, don't get upset because there are a number of men out there that like the idea of being able to protect somebody who might have a little less testosterone and a little less upper body strength. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm saying this because we want to help. We're saying that because that's kind of our role in life. There are these gender differences. We might not like them. We might all want to be one blurry mess of azure, but the truth is there are differences in us. And men, men need to step up and be more manly. And we're getting this whole, this pussification of the American man, and I'm guessing around the world, is happening more and more. Some of us need to take it seriously and stop and take a leadership role. Um, listen to some of these, uh, these books, uh, these audible books. Uh, that, that will talk about, and I'm saying that because I don't expect anybody to actually sit down and read a book. Listen to the Audible books, uh, Robert Aubrey, Audrey, something like that, Territorial Imperative, Social Contract, that kind of thing. Listen to some Jordan Peterson, and I know that's very offensive to those of you that, that find him to be offensive, but get serious. Listen to some, some, some books on history, on, on what we critters are all about human sociology um, this stuff is, is kind of important and we can't ignore it and pretend to be academic and above it we need to get serious and we need to step up do you agree